Hello everyone, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Wasiu Ali. And my name is Enyola Olatunji. This week we have various data and reports coming out. And starting today, the selected food prices for March would be reported by the National Bureau of Statistics. Now, last week, the food inflation printed at over 40%. Wasiu, that is a record high inflation yes. rates. And what is driving the food inflation this high? Well, um, quite a number of things are driving food inflation. Um, one of it is um, insecurity and, um, you know, um, the world, uh, the change in the climate condition. So all of this, the, the MBS, the, the most shocking part of the report, the food the food inflation report was the, um, the high rise of Gary. What? Gary? Is Gary? The, yes. Gary is the highest um, food that takes a chunk out of people's wallets. Well, Gary is like the... The common staple, common right? Yes, common food for everybody. It's last resort. If I don't have money, I drink Gary. Yes, everybody everybody sees Gary as the, the savior. But shockingly, um, um, Nigeria is the largest producer of cassava. And, wow. you know, the, 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 the according to a report, Nigeria produced 6.8 million tons, tons of, of Gary. cassava. Cassava. Cassava 2022. Wow. And so if Nigeria could be producing this much cassava, how then are we now buying Gary a bag for about 40,000 naira now? So that tells you that we need to do more production and we need to, you know, find a lasting solution to these security concerns wow. in the in the north. And that is why this data is very interesting to look out for because it will be showing what prices of food printed at in March. In March. Moving away from food prices, we are going to transport transport fare prices for both intercity and interstate would be released today also. What's yeah. you? The prices of transportation has been very, very high. Been, I personally have been paying. For, I've been paying through. <laughs> I've been paying so much for it. I think food. I think everyone that commutes uh, pays uh, through their nose. Yes, you know, for for, for transport fare. Transport fare has increased significantly, and of course, one of the things that uh, fueled this is because of the removal of, of the fuel subsidy. subsidy, the costly petrol subsidy by the federal government. Wow. And, you know, because the federal, the government didn't, you know, readily put measures in place before removing the subsidy. And, uh, yeah, the, the shock is, is being seen. And it's, it's, it's even translating even into other prices like food prices. It's one of the reasons why food prices are high. Mm -hmm. And even other things like every other thing is just every, taking, every, it's taking. Every facet of the economy will be affected. Facing. Companies, producers, yes. they use diesel the useful thank god for dango the refinery now so because the the, the the with dango the refinery coming on board diesel prices has crashed wow and so it's like the same thing happen to petrol prices that petrol, when it starts operation in may we're hoping that petrol prices will also come down it is what they to know that in february transport fare prices intercity increased by 75 percent year on year so it is this month we expect another increase since price of petrol has not decreased yes so we, we should see another we should see, we should see imagine an increase too in march and what 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 is more alarming about this data is that food and transport take a chunk of nigerians disposable income, income. they spend a lot on on this yes price. we spend a lot so for food uh, the sbm says nigeria spends about 97 percent of their income on food wow so wow. food prices are increasing transport fare also increasing so we need the government to find a lasting solution to this menace hopefully so um Enola, the u.s will be you know the, there will be an auction of its treasury bills three months and six month treasury bills this week so what are we expecting from that report. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Yes, this week, there will be a six-month and three-month treasury bill auction by the U.S. Now, last week, the U.S. inflation printed at 3.5%. So, when economies are going through very high inflation, what the central bank usually do, and in this case, the Federal Reserve, is to mop up liquidity or raise their interest rates. Now, the America has been very, very laid, not laid back, but they have been very, very... Restrictive. Restrict, restricted with cutting their rates because mm. they've been trying to see where inflation, whether Point inflation out. would reduce or not. But so far, 
January, February, and even March now, inflation has continued to go up. stubbornly high. That's I think that's, that was <laughs> yes, that's, that's right how I, I saw an headline that says stubbornly high. And for the US Treasury bills, in order to mop up liquidity from the economy, they would likely offer very attractive yields. So we expect that the yields on the US Treasury bills will be very attractive. At the last auction, it was about 5.25%. So we should see slightly higher than that this time around. Yes. So now, a very interesting data that I personally am looking out for. I, is I think the, everyone, 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 should, every look should, for, look everyone should look out for that. Everyone should look out for that. Is the FAC allocation. This is the Federal Alloc- Account Allocation, allocation committee. committee. It is a data that shows the disbursement of funds through all levels of government, the federal, from the federal, the state, to state, and, the and local, local governments. governments. So this week, what do, you, what do you think? Do you think that the money that's going to be that was distributed in March is going to be higher? Well, I, well, um, for February, about two point two point zero seven trillion naira, and that's an increase. Disposed. Yes, from um, the previous month, since the second quarter of last year. The federal allocation has increased significantly, wow. given the op- buoyed by the the gains from, from the, the subsidy, removal. subsidy removal. Nigeria yeah. spent about four hundred billion naira on subsidy re- on the costly subsidy removal. And that was why it was removed. So wow. these gains have now been pushed into the federal account. But ironically, Eniola, we are yet to feel the impact of, of this money. You wow. Know. So I personally have not felt it. We, <laughs> I don't we, know we, if Nigerians have felt it. We hope that the government uh, steps up on that. Yeah. And one other interesting fact is that whenever these disbursements take place, the Naira depreciates, dollar goes up. And there is a there report of link between FAC, um, FAC disbursements and the Naira going up. Yeah. So this is actually a very, very interesting, interesting data, to, data look to look out for. Away from FAC... Yeah. The Naira. Oh my because God. Because the, 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 the Naira is something that has been flu- flu- fluctuating for a while now. Yes, but it was stable for stable. the last six weeks. And, and like, even last week. Yes. Uh, the, the Naira hit a seven month high. Yes, at 8,000 8, Naira. 8, Naira. I was so week. happy. I was so, so happy. I was like, finally, the Naira is doing not so And it matches proud. our predictions. Yes, we did predict that the Naira would eat 8,000 Naira last week. But unfortunately, on Friday... The Naira went back to 8,250. And it's reported that this money is at 8,275 Naira. Honestly, please. The Naira should continue to do us good because well, well, enough of bad news. Well, I, th- I think I think it should moderate this week because oh. um, the federal government has secured a World Bank loan. Of like two, two, over $2 billion. $2 billion. And of course, this new money is needed to ease the pressure of the Naira and, you know, to... To uh, foster growth in the economy, so, so we expect that the Naira the should moderate at about this week, one thousand, about one thousand Naira, so there about. Oh, so we do hope that the Naira does, does us proud this week, and don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms at businessday.ng, and also for in-depth analysis, you can go to our website at www.businessday.ng. My name remains Enyola Latinji, and I am Wasio Ali. See you again next week. <laughs>